so it's the next day we are starting today's vlog very late it's currently almost 10 past three in the afternoon we have been incredibly busy since the last clip i did which i think was yesterday with the car i went to the airport yesterday to swap the cars i explained all that in the video before i didn't explain what we ended up with so we have a dodge dodge srs charger it's not as comfy as the honda civic at all the screen is a lot smaller than the honda civic this bit the center console is also a lot smaller so in the honda civic it was the other way we'd get two bottles in and we had a massive pocket in the middle and we literally just piled like our phones and wallet and everything in the middle whereas this there's just no room so all in all i'm not that impressed with it compared to what we had it also doesn't have an economy mode so fuel is probably going to cost us more or it's probably going to drink well, it more no, i'll just drive steady with it because it can ship um yeah my life's driving it because it's fast but i love more on the, on the practicality side of things <laughs> Yeah, but all in all, much preferred the Honda Civic. When we got back last night, uh, when Matt got back, sorry, um, we carried on building our furniture, and we also, after that, we went to Ponderosa, came to fifty-five dollars. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it came to fifty-five dollars for the both of us. That included um, your main meal, which we had steak and obviously the buffet as well. But it was really, really nice. Yeah. And we got back. What did we do when we got back? Come oh, nature. we went to the front desk to arrange for... Yeah. Oh, that was it. We already arranged for the furniture to be picked up yesterday, but nobody turned up. So before we went to Ponderosa, we went to the main desk, said nobody's turned up. You spoke to someone on the phone, didn't you? Who's like in charge yeah. of all that and basically when we went to the front we went to the front desk yesterday a note hadn't been left so that the person that we spoke to she just seemed a bit useless anyway to be honest or just couldn't be asked i just got that impression immediately didn't we i said too often didn't i like she's useless so that never happened because obviously she never passed on the message or never sorted anything out matt spoke to the woman that's in charge of all that and she arranged it for eight o'clock this morning for the maintenance, maintenance team to come and collect all our crap, basically. <laughs> and it was crap as well. After they came at eight o'clock, that probably took about 45 minutes, I'd say. Yeah. To empty our condo. And then we had to wait for somebody else to come to collect both of the settees. And they did, and they took it. So great, emptied it. And then we spent the morning building the rest of the furniture. That was building the rest of the furniture. I was just tidying everything else up, putting things away, putting things in place, wiping stuff down because things have got dirty. We are currently at our local Walmart and Lowe's is just there next door yeah. because we have got some paint to tame back to Lowe's that we bought that was no good. So Matt's gonna go and do that and also the mirror so matt built the sideboard today we put it in the pl in place matt uh, put it up against the wall and the mirror that was there originally i painted uh, repainted white because it was brown yep. but it's the mirror is that big but also the sideboard we didn't realize how, how big yeah. this sideboard is so the mirror well the sideboard covers half the mirror don't it, yeah it, didn't I mean, it? It, it, you could possibly pull the, the sideboard forward, but then you can't fasten it to the wall and it could fall over. Yeah, because or... it's so heavy, it's got to be fastened to the wall, which yeah. Matt's done. Yeah. But it just meant that because it's so tall, the mirror that was there before, just the sideboard covers half the mirror, whereas the sideboard before was half the size. Yeah. So that means that we need a new mirror. So when they took all the crap this morning, we took that off the wall and then gave it to him 
In fact, one, what would you say? One of them says that his sister is going to give it to his sister. I, just, I heard the word sister or something. <laughs> he's no. going to give that mirror to his sister. So I obviously didn't do that much of a bad paint job if he's going to give it to his sister. I want to go into Walmart to look for a mirror because if I can't find a mirror in Walmart, we are going to Universal Studios for the rest of the day, um, basically till 10 pm tonight when they shut and ikea is six minutes away from universal yeah. so if i can't find a mirror now we know we've got to go to ikea to get a mirror we do need a couple of other bits from ikea but that can wait but the mirror can't yeah. because we've got to get it up uh, hung, on the wall. hung on the wall yeah and fixed so that's the plan now it's quarter past three in the afternoon yeah we're gonna go here Hopefully I can get a mirror. If not, we're going to IKEA, and then we're going to Universal Studios for the rest of the night till, till close. Ten, ten is it? The park's till ten, yeah. and then City Walk is is one or two a.m. Great, yeah. So there's no rush. So <laughs> yeah. yeah, we're gonna All go right. to um, close him. Cool. So can't wait for that. Just leaving Walmart now, and this is the car we've got, the Dodge. Dodge Charger. The mirrors were crap. Um, there was a forty dollar black mirror. You didn't see it, did you? No, I'm just sure. But um, it looked like a ten dollar mirror, and it just looked tacky. So I'm not paying forty dollars when it looks like ten. But I got the wicker baskets, which has saved us a lot of money. So in IKEA, the wicker baskets are about fifteen dollars each, and this is to go in the sideboard unit, th um, one on each shelf like in diagonal that would have cost us 45 plus yeah. tax yeah at um ikea for the smaller ones as well not yeah for, yeah for like these it's like this size but in wicker so i just suddenly thought well, I'll, I'll have a look to see if they've got them in here and they had they had a couple but this is exactly what we're after this cost 17.32 plus tax but that was yeah. just like that's that's like the, the price one, that's right? like the price of one yeah so yeah, we've got literally, as Matt just said, three for what one would have cost us at Ikea. And then, what else was in there? Matt had a brainwave. And a sideboard unit, if people chuck their um, keys and stuff on top of it, it's just going to get scratched um, and damaged. So, we have bought some fabric, like a, what is it, like a table runner? Yeah. Like a Which table runner quite, fabric. Yeah. It's a white sparkly um design and that's gonna sit on top yeah so off to universal we're going now yes probably the only good thing about this car is that it unlocks your door at the same time it unlocks mine yeah, that, that's about the only, that's about the only good thing now compared yeah. to the Civic. So whilst just getting set up to make our way to Universal, I just suddenly thought that the last update was obviously oh, everything right. in the boxes when it got delivered. I think when you went for oh, your right, car, yeah. but we've built all that and I've not filmed any of it because one, we've not had a second. We've not had a second this entire trip, have we? No. And I've not had. We've not, I've not had a second to do it and two we just sort of did it just cracked on with it built it all up set it all out and rather than show it almost done because there's only a couple more things to do now mm -hmm. I'm going to wait and then do like a grand reveal yeah do you know what I mean because so, it's pretty much done now isn't it apart from yeah a few things so rather than spoil the grand, grand reveal i'm just going to wait until it's all completely finished and then i'm going to go around with the camera and show exactly what we've done this was from the amount of cars that's coming the other way oh is one of the parks started shutting now because it's uh five horror nights. yes there's only half an hour to yeah. park shuts. so when halloween horror nights is on which started on the first september so yesterday the park is in the universal studios park and that shuts at 5 p.m for the Halloween Horror Nights and the other park, Islands of Adventure, is open until 10 p.m. tonight. It does alter each night, so that's why you have to go on the Universal app, click on the calendar dates, because 
for some reason they're just all different times but tonight Alan's Adventure is open till 10 p.m so we obviously it's half past four now so we're gonna go straight into that park because by the time we get there we're gonna be well we'll, we'll probably not be allowed in so. <laughs> whilst we're on our way to Universal so we're just seven minutes away I thought I'd explain the bag situation between Disney and Universal for people that had never been before Disney you can go on I think any ride with a bag yeah, uh, can you, can you try and think of a ride that you can't no I think even Space Mountain you took it in your feet can't yeah you took it in your feet so um, the big roller coasters rock and roller coasters yeah, yeah you so you, the big roller coasters like um, Aerosmith Tower of Terror Star Wars rides I'm trying to think of like the big big ones well, I don't know about Tower of Terror now yeah you, it's, it's, it's at your feet yeah, you hold on to it secure it yeah, yeah. All them rides, you can take your bag on with you and just pull it at your feet. Whereas Universal, all the big rides, you can't take anything on with you. So you have to put your bag in the locker. Now, the difference between Disney and Universal is at Disney, you can take your bag on any ride and you just put it at your feet. Universal, you can't take anything on with you and you have to put a locker before you get on the ride. Now, the locker situation is basically the lockers are the size of a letterbox and those lockers are free so as long as you can fit your bag in a letterbox size and all your belongings it's free whereas the crafty sods if you have say a normal sized backpack or you have a handbag then you have to pay for a locker they call it a large locker which we went to by mistake and it was two was it two dollars like i think it, it was it was two yeah. it was i think it was two dollars for the large locker what i do is if we're going to universal i have a bum bag or if obviously if you're american they call them fanny packs fanny pack yeah, yeah. um so this is my bum bag it's uh, mandalorian with grogu on it it's a lounge fly one and i always take this to universal because like i says this just slots straight in to the letterbox sized uh, lockers and when you've done that and you and you go through the ride in the queue you have to go through a metal detector so you literally you cannot take anything on with you whatsoever the only thing you have to take is your park pass because when you go to a locker you have to scan your park ticket to open a locker that's how you get allocated a locker so they have a locker room they have locker stations and you walk up to it you scan your park ticket and it automatically allocates and it, it swings open and tells you on the screen which is your locker not every single ride at universal that you have to do that but it is the majority of them because the majority of the rides at universal are bigger rides. are bigger rides and for older children and adults whereas disney the majority is all you kid know friendly. kid yeah. friendly yeah the likes of so hulk all the harry potter rides my mind's gone blank the mummy basically Rip Rock, Rip, uh, Rip Rye Rocket. Rocket basically if it's not a 4D experience ride then you'll have to put your bag and all your personal belongings in a locker yeah. before you can go on it that's Volcano Beach just over there
we've just noticed that normally it's free parking after 6 p.m. Um, for Universal, but because it's a Halloween horror night, um, the free parking it says it's after midnight. So the crafty sods, when there is a Halloween horror night event on, they basically get rid of the free parking after 6 p.m. and it's, and it's then after 12 after midnight. The parking rates, I think I've shown before, so $30 um, if you're in a car, and at the bottom, so that's midnight free. Then the next page, it tells you the closing times for each park. Hit and miss that when you're a pass holder, you either get a staff member that asks for your ID, you get some that just waves you straight away. So, they, when you get through, they direct you where to go. We always find when you come to Universal Disney, the car parking is very, very, very organised and you can't park where you want. You get directed into a specific space. Jaws. Well, luckily, the sun's even though it's 30 degrees, um, the sun isn't shining down upon us. <laughs> it's very overcast today. It yes. looks like it's going to wang it down at some point. Must be Halloween, are Yeah. <laughs> there we are. We're at Jaws. When you park up, always make note of where you've parked because obviously the, there's a couple of multi-storey car parks and they're absolutely ginormous. Why the park after here when it's full? Start again, I don't know. What do you think? Yeah. And we are here. We're in Jaws Row 516 and the signs are just there. that for our tea tonight we're going to go to this Panda Express and um, it's up there somewhere we've never tried it before and they do an orange is it orange noodle chicken? Yeah, orange, chicken orange, with, chicken. orange chicken with noodles I think I think you can pick what you have it with alright okay. oh, I'll, I'll, I'll have it with noodles like yeah Let's go. <laughs> okay. So we underestimate how busy the park is. So um, everything's stupidly long. Apart from Popeyes, it's in 20 minutes. So we're going to go on that, aren't we? Yeah. I found that, Matt. Wait, eh? Hey, from that. Wet. <laughs> Very wet. You can't tell because you're in dark clothing. I'll show you. Tell so me tell my hair. Look at my hair. Oh dear. How wet I am. My shorts was live. I'm trying to bring them out. God. Are you taking your shoes off? Is that much water than me? Eh? Hey? I'm never going on this again in a holiday. <laughs> not, not this time. Any water? It feels like there is, but I don't think that's actually it's squelching. Absolutely soaked. Just right through. I do. We need to be able to wring your trousers out. Yeah. Wring your clothes out. And we can tell my hair. Yeah, okay. Pretty wet. Well. We are absolutely 
oversaturated. There's not one part of me, Matt, that's dry. Not one inch of me that's dry. I'm just stood here and it's just dripping down my legs. We're just saying, I'm not gonna, we're not going on it again in this holiday. It's a, for all, it's a one and done, that's it. Just absolutely, just you look at my hair, I'm saturated. Saturated. What are you jumping the swimming pool? Yeah, there's yeah. literally not one part of us that's dry, not one part. So now we've got to walk around with with soaking wet knickers and boxers and God knows what else. <laughs> Take a big garden, fix the toilets, take it down this little alleyway, and you're in the three broomsticks. Big garden. We're throwing in the towel. Oh my. We're good if we had a towel. <laughs> it would be good if we had a towel, yeah. <laughs> it's been an hour and a half since we've been on it. Can you eat that long? This has been on Popeyes for a rapid and we're still absolutely dripping wet through. Can you try the people dryer? Yeah, we, we, we was that desperate. We actually paid to go in the dryers that they have and it cost $7. That's how desperate we was. I'm still absolutely drenched. My hair, my top, my shorts, my shoes, my socks, my knickers. I'm just absolutely Still, an hour and a half later, not one centimetre of me is dry. It wasn't like this before, <laughs> now it's a centimetre. We have looked, we walked around um, Harry Potter, Hogsmeade, had a walk around the park. Look to the wait times as well. Yeah. So that's why we decided to throw in the towel because oh, yeah. the wait times to rise is absolutely ridiculous. And we just looked at it. This is just in City Walk. We've left the park now and it's just absolutely heaving. So we're not gonna get on anything else today, are we? It's, it's just it's stupid. Hagrid's 170 minutes. That's that's just insane, isn't it? It's absolutely insane. Especially when we could come back in the day and few half that. Time. Yeah. It's because it's a Saturday, it's the busiest day. Well the parks are short for Halloween Horror Night, so everyone that has a yeah, good that's true. coming to the other park. We are currently walking across opposite Hard Rock and we're going to go to Voodoo Donuts. We haven't been there before, never tried the donut before, so we're going to get one of them there. And then we are heading back to our holiday home. We're going to get changed get dried, I'm gonna dry my hair <laughs> um, and then we're gonna go to our on-site restaurant and bar so we're just heading to do food and donuts just there and we're gonna get a donut each and try aren't we? Yeah. so this is food donuts so we're just gonna make our, make our order for food so our order has come to $3.67 for one butterfinger, which is what I've ordered. Try and find it. So I've ordered this one here. It's a chocolate cake donut with vanilla frosting and butterfinger crumbles. 
and Matt has ordered the maple bar raised yeast with maple frosting on top so we're just currently sat waiting for our order to be ready and we'll try it ready yet Matt's got the good stuff oh yeah it's not very looks long. amazing it's massive <laughs> say no more Alright, we just got back to the car. I've had to pull my shorts. <laughs> I've got the camera. I've pulled my shorts down to put around my ankles because I'm that I, that's right. soaked still. I think it's my shorts because yours are quite like swimming, like swim shorty yeah, type yeah, shorts. Same for my shirt. I've got but... woven material shorts, so yeah, no chance of drying out. They're not going to dry. My hair's still absolutely soaked. Just got back to the car and we're going to try our voodoo donuts for the first mm. time. Oh, well, I've chopped mine with nice. the box for this. I'll chop mine first. You will be careful that camera. Yeah, I am. <laughs> you have to lift your glasses up. Reflections. Oh, mine looks amazing. Right, okay. Oh, so nice. Yeah? Mm. <laughs> Let me try a bit of mine. Oh, that's really nice. That's so fresh. Oh, good. Mm. I wasn't sure with it being quite late on in the I day know. how fresh they would be. That's so fresh. Right, try a bit of yours now. Oof. This is huge. <laughs> the size of that. <laughs> mm. No, in it. Not much in it. No, it's no. just a topped. That's still nice, Sam. Um. Mm. I think they do a version with a nice. filling. I might have to have a look at that. Mm. I'll have a look at the menu again. They do a bacon top one, but it's what, yeah. $4.19 for some bacon on I top. I remember seeing one that says it was like a cream donut or something. So That was very nice, right? Yeah, I'll have a look. I'll try mine now. Alright, let's try a bit of this. Oh, we all donuts have a different texture. That's nice, isn't it? That's very nice. And they're not dry at all. Oh, I'm just getting the peanut butter. Mmm. That's very nice. Try a bit of mine now. Mmm. The caramel topping is really nice. But I think yours has got a lot more flavour per bite because mine's a lot more dough. Yeah, so think, I've got more, yeah. Mm, mine will be better with a bit of filling, so I might mm. see if that's an option uh, when we'll I look at the menu again for next time. All right, we're going to scoff these now before yep. we um, set off. Yep. What would you rate out of five? I give mine a three out of five. It's nice, but nothing special. Um, I think there's better no, things. Don't, don't look no. Look at it, does I think there's better things to have on the menu, so I'll, uh, yeah, hopefully, if I find something more exciting next time. Would you give yours out of five? I go a four, and the reason why it's not a five out of five is because the donut is a chocolate donut, but it's not that chocolatey. Mm, yeah. So I can taste a hint of it, but. But that's probably coming from the chocolate topping rather than the yeah, chocolate. Yeah, maybe. Dough. Yeah, with, without the chocolate topping, it's probably even less than what I think. But um, yeah, if, it, if, the, if the donut was a lot more chocolatey, mm. then it'd be five out of five, definitely. I can't believe this is how. You got to drive um, home. Um, yeah, we've got to drive home. Literally, my shorts <laughs> around my ankles. That's definitely a first for me. But you said that you have to remember to pull them up before you get out of the car. <laughs> Yeah, definitely. <laughs> oh my god. I've only ever been on Popeyes once before in my whole life. Definitely once before. But that was 15 years ago when I first came to Florida. I was 13 years old. So I couldn't remember at all how bad the water rapids is. <laughs> 
I you, couldn't remember at all. It wouldn't be so bad if it was earlier in the day and it was a bit warmer. Yeah. But yeah. But it's dropping cold now. Yeah. Well, cooler. My cooler. Not enough to dry out. So not only could I not remember whatsoever the ride and how bad you got wet, Matt's never been on it. I don't think so. And you'd remember if you'd been <laughs> yeah. on it. Yeah. Like, I knew I'd been on it once before, but I couldn't remember at all how badly you got soaked. And why does, it, why does it never feel like anybody else in your raft gets as wet as you? <laughs> yeah. Why does, why does that not ever feel like... I don't know. You know, everybody gets an equal amount. Because normally, on these river rapid things, you see the water pouring down and then it cuts off before you get to it. On this, it, it doesn't cut off. You no. Just, yeah. Drenched. I says to Matt, I'm never, ever, ever going to go on that ever again. <laughs> in my whole life, I'm not going on it again. If he wants to go on it, he's more than welcome to, and I'll just wait off the ride at the side and wait for you if you ever want yeah. to go on it again. But I'm, I'm, I'm done. Like, that, that's it. That's it for me. I'm not going on that again. <laughs> we love going on water rides, but normally you just get a bit wet. That, Popeyes, you get absolutely saturated beyond belief. I mean, Ripsaw, saw, uh, Ripsaw Falls looks to be exactly the same though as well. You get just as drenched, so. I ain't going on that, yeah, I don't think. Say. <laughs> no, I'm done now. So we've just got home and we have got changed, dried. And now we are heading to Trade Winds, which is the on-site bar and restaurant. It's open till 10 and it's currently 25 past 8. Okay. So we are heading there and we're going to get a drink. We'll have a cocktail. Yeah. We'll have a cocktail as well. And we're probably going to get a bar snack of some sort because we're not eating anything. I don't know if we do or not. Yeah. We haven't had any tea yet. We're not eating since like this afternoon. I think we'll come across an alligator or a snake in the uh, pitch black. It's possible. I hope not. We know they're eating it, but... Oh, we're, we're Bass Pro twinning, aren't we? Yeah. Bass Pro, if you know, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Best shop in the world. Yep. And chain. Chain? Uh, yes, chain. Uh, chain. There's a sign, not... Is it? Yeah. yeah. So as we walk into Trade Winds, the on-site bar and restaurant, obviously walking past all of the units and on the way here it just seems so much more built up because obviously you've got units there and units here so they're smack bang opposite each other and then luckily where our condo is there isn't anything across from us is there no there's nothing across from us so it's like our building of condos is just by itself so like we're walking yeah to the restaurant and it's just something that we've not really noticed before yeah. so we're just saying how lucky we are the bats yeah you know like a chirping oh. noise if a bat comes out I'm, i'd literally shit my son <laughs> they're in that one tree aren't they yeah they like that tree in that tree there I don't know if you're going to be able to hear it on camera, but it's like a, no, no, I bloody don't. Yeah, like the more the closer we get into the restaurant, it's just so built up, isn't it? Yeah, it's good. Probably got to see it on camera, but there's a massive lake there, and we're over the other side of it, which is what around it, and there's another lake just opposite. Oh, it's just. It's so quiet, isn't it? Yeah. Not seeing anybody. Can't hear anybody. It's just so peaceful. And we own yeah, a holiday home here. Yeah. Crazy. <laughs> Crazy. Just got to the restaurant and the bar. Let's go and get a cocktail and a snack bar. Just got a cocktail. Yeah. The bushes are 
full of alive. Yeah. Just here, just insects and animals and so the barge over there, it's got a pool. The pool looks super super clean, doesn't it? Yes. Really, really clean. This is that's the Mummy Beach. Just there. And then just there obviously you can't see. But there's a gigantic lake called Davenport Lake. That was really nice. So yours. Oh, you had the vodka, didn't you? Mm. Oh, that's nice as well. They're very really nice. Mm. Aren't they? Yeah, they're both nice. Yeah. How much did it come to again? $20. $20. 1980, so it's People probably think, why do we pick a, why do we pick Bahama Bay? Oh yeah. And it's right. like, paradise, that's why. One of the reasons why we picked Bahama Bay is because um, it is a Caribbean style gator resort. The whole place is obviously themed that way, isn't it? Yeah. You wouldn't think we were 15 minutes away from Disney from all the hustle and bustle of the parks mm -hmm. yeah. and here we're Definitely. only we're only 15 minutes away yeah. but you would think you're in the Bahamas and I mean that's the idea of it you know this yeah. Caribbean style gator resort I mean, there's a beach over there. yeah I did point that out like, there's a, that's the man-made beach but you can't really pick well, it up on camera and then that just through there I mean we're literally like a stone throw away from the lake but you can't see it on camera um there's a dock isn't it? Like, yeah. um yeah fishing dock a fishing dock so you i can't remember where i can't remember where you get your license from. it does sound the gate um, but i can't so you, remember you can get your license i think they might can sell them me, reception. i think i think they do i think it um, says go to reception but you, for a license yeah, you could get to walmart bass pro but not only does it have all this like i says this is Davenport Lake and it's absolutely humongous. So yeah, you can fish off the dock if you want. Yeah. I'm sure you would in the future. Yeah, in the future. I mean, this is like a tiki hut. So you can just see what the roof looks like. Like they would have in the Bahamas, isn't it? Yeah, definitely, yeah. <laughs> this type of uh, hut. I'm both quite shaded in the day as well, to be fair, in this little hut. Yeah. And we came last year for a honeymoon. This, we stayed here at Bahama Bay to see if we liked it or not. And it absolutely blew us away, didn't it? Yeah, it did. It was everything, we'd, everything we hoped and more yeah. this place was. You'd seen other place in the sun first. I'd done years of research in finding what we would consider as our perfect Orlando Holiday Home and this was at the top of the list so we stopped here last year blew us away and then we came down here in the day or it was like early evening yeah we walked down here obviously it looks totally different in the day because you, sure you can we'll, see everything sure we'll yeah but we never got to come to the uh, restaurant or the bar because we just ran out of time didn't yeah. we and so we made it a mission to make sure we came to the bar this time around. Yeah. And we have done. Yeah. And the cocktails are very, very nice. They are, yeah. As I just sat here enjoying the drinks, I just, I still just can't believe that we own a holiday home here. No, no, it's still not sank in yet. I don't, I don't think, think it will. I don't think it'll sink in for a few trips. Quite, quite a few trips. Yeah. Yeah, I think you're right. I mean, even though we've done all that work to it and made it... I, I think when it's fully done... Yeah. Then I think... And then I think it might sink in for me. When we've got... So all our furniture is done. When you've the put the pictures up, because that is... What we've picked is very... It's us, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. The pictures we've chosen, we've picked a Disney theme for each room and the pictures go with that theme. So that's very, very us. So yeah. I think for me, once them pictures are up, because then it's fully finished, 
Yeah. Apart from the carpet, we need new carpet, grey carpet eventually, but eventually. eventually. Then for me, I think, we have now. I thought there was a raccoon going, it's a rabbit. <gasps> oh my God, it's a rabbit. <gasps> oh my God. Have you can see it on camera? Just there, <laughs> right there. Yeah, sure. Oh my god! I, I had no idea. There are rabbits here. Pardon. Just literally there. Oh, Just there. <gasps> it's coming towards us, Matt. That's <laughs> <laughs> coming towards us. <gasps> oh my god! Oh my god! <gasps> oh, I can. I bet it's Saturday night. I bet it's um, what, uh, what, uh, Disney. Disney up here after. What time is it? Ten to nine. Oh. I don't know. I've got. I can literally hear like. I don't want to have a Disney or. Um. Epcot or whatever fireworks. That's crazy. Yeah. Well, it's, it's one of them. I don't know where that rabbit's gone. Oh, it's just alive. It's not Mickey's. Uh, not so scary, is it? No, no, maybe. Probably. Saturday. I really hope the camera can pick up <laughs> the sounds coming from that bush. <laughs> oh my that's god, it's very wild. Loud. I think that's one of them big beetles. It's wild. What's that other noise? I know. It's just, I know, it's insane. It's not quacking ducks. It's insane. But when you're walking around our resort, They've got um, nature walks, which we did last year, didn't we? Ooh, and you walk um, around the lakes. Yeah. But it's a specific nature walk. Is it one and a half mile? If I remember, I think, I think if I remember right, it's a one and a half mile nature trail. Yeah, yeah. And there's signs up that you follow. And what it says all the way around, stick to the path and be aware of alligators and snakes. Doesn't it, and snakes. Beware of alligators and snakes and stick to the and path. And not feed the raccoons. Yeah, and Matt, Matt says, yeah, do not feed the raccoons. Gosh, I really hope you can hear it on camera, like what we're hearing. There's, to be fair, there's quite a few noises going off at the moment, so you've got... Can the fireworks? Fireworks, yeah, fireworks. yeah, some sort of fireworks show. All fireworks. sorts of insects and animals. We've just been sat here talking and we just got absolutely shitted up. <laughs> The trees just started moving, didn't they? Yeah. Like something big. That's all cool. Yeah, literally. And then a raccoons just climbed up. Yeah. Mike, Mike in here, I don't like this at all. <laughs> oh my god. A raccoon just climbed up that tree, we turned around, just climbed straight up. Massive raccoon, and you can literally still hear it. God, that proper, that shit, that shit is up, isn't it? We just sat here talking, and then the, the trees was literally like that one day, yeah. as if as if like a human was yeah, walking, was human literally walking, like right. a human being was walking through it. Yeah. They moved that much. You can still hear it. It might have become for me. I'm 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 legging it. They drink me. Oh yeah, I'm not forget to drink. <laughs> so it's just me and Matt here. Um, now, nah, so that's why I'm filming. But that's this is the man made beach, it's absolutely massive. Like I said, there's the lake there, and then this is the one of the big pools, and it goes all the way around there. It's absolutely huge, and it's super, super clean. Oh, yeah, there's a hot two tub hot over there. there oh, two hot tubs, yeah, super, super clean. Which is great to see. So we just walk. Oh my god! We so we've just walked back to the two lakes, one there and one here. And I'm just going to stand here and hope that the GoPro picks up the noise as to what we are hearing. What on God's earth is all that noise? I'll tell you something, Matt, I'm so glad, so oh, glad we do not live yeah. 
in any of these condos near the lake. Oh my god. I I've never heard anything like it. No, they must be big Ever. bugs as well. Nope, nope, none of these. Nope, way too noisy. <laughs> We're tucked up out of the way from all this. <laughs> We're by ourselves. <laughs> yeah. Are we? Yeah. Nope. Well, tonight we've heard bats, seen a rabbit, seen a rabbit. Oh, before that we saw a gigantic bug yeah. that was flapping about on the floor. No idea what that was. We just got our drinks. We turned around to walk out of the bar to go and sit where we sat, and there was literally a the biggest. Well, I don't even know what it was because it was like doing like that. Do you know, like a fish? Yeah. Do you know what it was doing? Right. When the fish is out of water yeah. and it just flaps like that, yeah. that's what this bug was doing. But it was absolutely gigantic. So uh, we just walked around the other way. <laughs> so it was going, yeah. it was going crazy, we did, we did wasn't it? Lap of the, uh, it was going pool. crazy. Yeah. And I couldn't see what it was because it was just going so fast. Yeah. But it was huge. Then we saw a raccoon, uh, rabbit. Yeah. We saw a raccoon. Yeah. And then we just come back now, just it's hearing really all that noise, just. Stuff. Yeah, it's alive. As we're walking back to our holiday home, I'm sure if, if anybody's watching, probably the biggest question would be like, how can you afford to do that? Yeah. Isn't it? Yeah. Because I'm, tw I'm 28 and Matt's 30. Matt turned the big 3 0 last year. <laughs> Which I, I took him to a uh, I took him to Zanti's for a, a surprise holiday. Yeah. Said to celebrate his thirtieth. You had no idea, did you? No, not a clue. So basically, last year I booked. I said to Matt, right, book your birthday week off, and I'll sort something. I already knew what I was going to do. And then last January I booked it. What a great time, didn't we? Yeah. Brilliant. Stopped in a beautiful brand new hotel in yeah. Zanti. Yeah. Really and nice. we had a great time. So yeah, that Matt, had, you had no idea. No. As I started saying just before, people's biggest question will probably be, how can you afford it at such a young age? Yeah. And my answer to anybody that asks me or is asking that question is, work hard, save hard, and don't live above your means. Mm. We have worked our absolute arses off for years and years. <laughs> Look at that. All the staff members. All the staff members go around on golf buggies. I just, I love it. I love it. Yeah. <laughs> and also, just adding on to that, what I've just said about them three things is if you want something bad enough, mm. you will do whatever it takes to make it happen. Won't you? Yeah. We wanted this so bad that this was our life God, dream yeah. this is it this is our life dream so we worked so hard we still do we work still so do, we still yeah. do that's not we stopped still have to. yeah yeah and we save so hard and have saved so hard and we don't live above our means yeah. and what i mean by don't live above your means is that we don't have the latest iPhone. We don't have the latest Samsung Galaxy Fold phone. No. As much as we'd like to, <laughs> we choose to save that money. Yeah. So we have got a £200 phone each. Our contracts are £10 a month. So our phones cost us £10 a month rather than 70, 80 quid. Plus the hundreds you have to pay up front to get the phone. Also, yeah. We don't have brand new cars. Mine's an 05 plate car. Matt hasn't got a car. <laughs> Currently. <laughs> Currently. Yeah. So, you know, we could very easily, where are we going? Cross here? Yeah, it's cross here yeah, then. It's a lot harder in the dark to find that home, isn't yeah. it? Walking in the dark. So, we can choose to have all these things if we, if, wanted, if we to. wanted to, but we choose not to to save all that money yeah. you know i know so many people that have got that have brand new cars on lease 
that PCP thing they do on finance. Yeah. So you get a brand new car every three years. We can do that, but we choose not to because I'd sooner save that money. And instead we've bought our holiday yeah. home in Orlando. Yeah. I mean, I'd take this over a brand new car any day. Yeah. <laughs> and also not living it above your means stems right back for us. So we own obviously our own house in the UK and when you buy a house you obviously get a mortgage. You we've got we've got a mortgage. Yep. Yeah. And when the mortgage providers tell you, oh, you can have three hundred thousand pound mortgage, most people think, Great, we can have you know, we can have a, a you know, three hundred grand house. Well, you can, but okay. then you, you ha but then else. you can't do anything else yeah. because all your money per month is tied up in your mortgage. So years and years ago, when we bought our first house, our mortgage that we could have had was way, way above than the house that we bought. The no below. Oh, what we could have had. Yeah, Sorry. like yeah, what we could have had. We chose to do that because we didn't want all our money being tied up per month. So I suppose the fourth one to add to that is life choices. Well, and planning for the future. And planning for the future. Yeah, life choices and planning for the future. It, everything we've just said all ties in together and that's how we've been able buy a holiday home here might be a question why are you vlogging it why have you started YouTube and what if someone asks you that what is the reason capture the memories capture yeah. for ourselves just to that capture, yeah I'll ask you to what you thought yeah. first no no that's... so yeah we want to be able to capture this moment because it's never gonna happen again no and we've worked so hard to get to this point yeah and we've worked incredibly yeah. hard to get here to get to where we are and rather than just taking pictures we had the technology to relive their moments and photos don't don't tell, don't tell no don't capture i don't think it captures it as well or your emotion or yeah your, so your yeah so obviously we've never done anything like this before no we're both very camera shy in general so yeah. this has been a huge out of his comfort zone very out of our comfort zone yeah and the reason why I want to do the YouTube is that I think that we are in such a unique position and I want to be able to show people that we are your normal everyday people. Mm. We're not from rich backgrounds. We're still your very normal people yeah. that live normal lives. So we're not anything special whatsoever. Mm. We're not millionaires, far from it to be able to do this so it just so, sort of gives anybody watching hope i suppose that yeah that if they want something that if they, they yeah it. that you can do it if you want something bad enough you'll make sure you can do it and you will like we have so we just got back into our condo i just want to finish it off by saying if anybody watching this has got any questions about anything to do with you know how we've done it or I don't know just yeah or, or the process I'm off camera because I've got no shirt on <laughs> yeah I, I Matt's sure. um, half naked so he's not on camera yeah yeah I just think we are in a unique situation we are very young to have done this there isn't a lot of information out there as to how you do it yeah. we've had to learn by ourselves well, luckily we're from scratch um, yeah, that obviously helps. But, yeah, so, but if there's enough, if there's enough, like obviously people watching enough questions, and then then that might might be like a future like Q and A. Yeah, or we could or respond in the comments or something. Yeah, in terms of like the uniqueness of of us owning a holiday home here in Orlando at such a young age is because the we learnt um, when we was buying a holiday home here is that the majority population of Orlando is older people mm. because it's super expensive 
well, the cost of living is quite expensive. Yeah, so the property prices. Oh, it's better work with the fan on. Oh, it's all the difference with that. Yeah, so the majority of the population in Orlando is actually older people, the older generation. A lot of people that are retired or... Yeah, because like Matt just said, people have retired, you know, they're at the time of their life where they've got extra money, whether it's come from inheritance. Or they're just getting away from... Retirement. ...longer periods where they live most of the year. They come here for the summer, well, sorry, for the winter, and, and they're called snowbirds. Yeah, so all them reasons is to why the majority of own homers, uh, own homers, <laughs> <I> mean, <laughs> homeowners is elderly is for them reasons. And we learned that um, when we was buying our property. Yeah. So we are, a, we are niche, we are in a niche, category of owners. owners in Orlando. Yeah, so just if anyone's got any questions, drop us a comment. If there's a lot of them then we could do it always do a QA yeah. as to how we've done that how we've managed to do this. Yeah the more questions or the process. We get, the more we are to do yeah. Grogu um, we'll, we'll says if you like this video please give us a like, give us a subscribe Drop us a comment below if you have any questions about Florida, Disney, Universal, <laughs> about a holiday home, anything at all, and we'll do our best to answer. And Grogu says, join us in the next one.